Waterfall selfie, everyone. <laughs> In today's episode of the vlog, I'm going to be doing one of my most favourite things. And that is showing friends who are guests to Scotland some of the best things that we have about this wee country. Welcome to this brand new four-part series, which I'm calling Take Me to the Highlands. Good morning from the Isle of Skye. We're staying at a place called Broadford. This is where we stayed last night. Staying in this place here, which is called Boat Builder's Cottage. It's quite a nice comfy wee, wee place. It poured rain the entire night, like bouncing off the windows and the roof. We we're standing up in the loft there. You could hear it hammering down. So I've emerged outside the cottage this morning as we're getting ready to, to leave for the day. You can see the road here behind me on the way up has just turned into a river. Literally a river. And then we've got this scene out here of the ocean. And what's amazing is the fact that, oh, you've got to see the kind of rainy stuff over here, which is still coming through. There's like patches over there where it's like beautiful, and beautiful sunny. Look at that. What a place. And there's a rainbow as well. Where is it? Right there. Let's see if we can get a closer look. Literally a river here on the road. That's how much it rained last night. This is a road, believe it or not. Just running down into the lock there. And this is the place we're staying. The boat builder's cottage. Bon dia. Did you have a good sleep? No ghosts? <laughs> this house is safe. This house is safe. The rainbow is amazing there. Huh? The rainbow was amazing. That's a really good rainbow. I love it. What a spectacular rainbow that was. I don't think I've seen a rainbow like that since yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing honestly but this is our house it was an old boat builders yard which still exists up the back now but this was the original cottage where they they made a load of boats here in sky and it's really cool and rustic and the owners have left lots of kind of like memorabilia memorabilia and artifacts of like shipping and boating and stuff and also like boat work boat artworks and stuff like that there's a plaque upstairs about a particular boat that was built here which I'll show you later, but um, it's a really nice, cosy place to stay here in Broadford, just outside Broadford. Um, but we are about to leave here this morning to go to Portree, where we're going to have some breakfast, and then, I don't know where we're going, exploring, but we will be back here later on tonight to stay for another night. But what a spectacular morning. From a whole night of rain to what I just saw with that rainbow. Um, I'm lost for words. Not a real one. <laughs> I just saw something hidden right there. I was like, what is that? I missed it earlier, but it looks like an orca. 
Let's go and have a wee look next to the anchor in the garden. Looks like a wooden sculpture and there's a bird on top of it. Ah, oh, no, it's a dolphin, I think. It's not an orca. It is a dolphin. This ground is so wet just now, look. Oh my God, it's sodden. But there they go, a wooden dolphin. Let's get off of here for a sink. Some people like to sleep with the sand of rain. And we had it literally the whole night. It's quite loud. Yes. Um, but fine. it was fine, it wasn't too bad. Wake, I think that for me the best thing, obviously it's a really charming little place with lots of character, but the best thing is waking up to that view in the morning. It is mind blowing. Beautiful. Gravando vlog. É. Também. Vocês perderam um acuri espetáculo. Ah, eu vi um pouquinho, né? Naquela é. mais ele via, tá bem bonito. Dare I say it, I'm even going to need my sunglasses. And dare I say it, it's even in the sun. Really warm, actually. Nice. The wind's not like bothering us at all because it's really light. If it was windy, it would be cold. Wow. We could stay here all, all day and take photos and videos, this is so cool. But then um, there's a lot of things we need to see today in Sky. The sight, the, the sun here is just like, cuts right through you. It's beautiful. And now it's raining again, look! Unbelievable! <laughs> just as we start to leave. Uh, but it's sunny over there, look. Blue skies. So we're going to stay positive. We're going to get breakfast though, in Portree. Let's go. I'm brewing. I'm all. I'm all. It's like, uh, bubble milk. Oh, yeah. Portree. If you are in Portree and you need some more tea for breakfast, recommend it. Pretty good. That was a really good feed and I'm absolutely stuffed now. Let's go have a wander around Portree and see what we can see. Predictably, the weather has not held. Here at the Kilt Rock, everyone wanted to come see the Kilt Rock, so we're here at the Kilt Rock. And it's freezing! And it's raining! Let's see. Every time we've been to this Kilt Rock, it has been like this, though. Uh, I might not stay outside in the, in the wind too long, <laughs> either. If that rain comes, there, I'll be back in the car. Let's see. What do you think? Amazing. You it's like so it? Ma magical. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Waterfall. I like it as well. And that, that's where the kilt is there. It looks like it's supposed to look like a kilt at the back. Yeah, yeah, it's so beautiful. Sometimes, you know, this water here, when the wind blows, it goes up. So it's like what? the waterfall goes reverse. Really? Yeah, it goes like that, up. That's amazing. Waterfall selfie, everyone. <laughs> Hope we don't drop the camera, because otherwise it's going to go right down there. 
Actually, you know I'm scared of heights. I wasn't even looking down there, but now that I'm looking, it's scary. I hope this uh, gate doesn't break or this fence that's holding me back. That's pretty high. This place, the Kilt Rock, is a lot more popular than the last time I was here. That I remember. Loads of people coming in, lines and lines of tourists, which is uh, all good. Good to see people here enjoying Scotland and all the natural beauty that we have here. I want everybody to come. Um, I'm wimping out though. Joanna and David are taking videos and photos of the Kilt Rock. And I'm getting in the car nice and warm and cosy because it's freezing. That wind is biting. Hold on, let me put the heat seat, the seat heating on in this car <laughs> to warm up. Do you want your seat heating on? No, I think I've got a jacket. Yeah, problem. I need to put my jacket you on. Don't I don't have a jacket. No, I've got a jacket, but it's just in, it's in the boot. So you what I'm going to do on. is I'm going to put the jacket on the next time we leave the car, which is going to be the dinosaur footprints. It's here somewhere. It's nice to light there as well. Right? Yeah. In the clouds. The current theme of this trip is going to be the weather. We've had it all again today, like yesterday with the hailstones and all the rest of it. Today, let me tell you, the wind is absolutely Baltic and I am not leaving the car again without my big jacket on. But at the place where the dinosaur footprints are, what's the name of the town up there? Staffen. Staffa. Staffen. 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 And it's down there on that rock behind me. Now apparently, that rock down there, which looks like mud, was actually mud at one time, back in the Jurassic period. And this boggles my mind, right? But it was mud that was in the southern equator, south of the equator, next to some warm shallow seas. And the dinosaurs, meat-eating dinosaurs, like veloc velociraptors and types of things like that, I don't know what they were, they stood in the mud and made footprints. And then over millions of years, that part of land, sky was part of at that time, migrated north as the continents changed, and people found the footprints here years later. But this 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 land was part like it was at the other side of the world at that time. That that blows my mind. Anyway, very cool. The sand here is black, which, should, which suggests it's all volcanic here. Anyway, let's go and see if we can find these footprints. <laughs> Do you know what the seaweed, the seaweed is that he's eating? I'm not sure. Probably just kelp. Dangerous. I don't think it's dangerous, but. Yeah. No. <laughs> I don't think that's for you to eat. <laughs> he loves it. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Ah. I would have never thought. Well, that's why nobody saw it for years because they didn't know it was. <laughs> then somebody looked at it at a different angle and thought, oh that looks like a that looks like a footprint. And they're like, yeah. You really is it really? Yeah. I don't know if there's loads more of these around the place, there probably is. But there's definitely one here. We're taking a stand in now. That's pretty cool. That is something really cool. I saw. If the sea was up, you wouldn't see this thing. No. So you got lucky. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, is that one there too? I don't even know. The funny thing is about these dino footprints is there's no like signs or anything showing you exactly which ones are which but um, you can kind of just make, once you've found one you can find a think like, okay, that looks like one there must be others that look the same and then there's one that's like here, for example, look where is it? here you can kind of mark that out and think that, that's one, right? that's not one of course it is This might be one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen anywhere in the world, the Kerrang. It is a icon here. Here's a plaque. See, look, it's like a trail, look, it goes in a circle. You can walk all the way around it. We're not going to do that today because it is getting late and it's, it's damn cold. We're not prepared for that. But we are, from up here, you can get a really nice view of it. That'll do. The needle. Oh, yeah. The needle. There it is. There it is right behind me. Yeah. It doesn't look as good when it's like this, but honestly, 
You get up close and do a bit of zoom in, this is spectacular. Wow. Let's get a closer look with a better camera. One day I will make it to the Kerrang as a walk and hike there, but today's not going to be that day. It's getting dark already. What do you guys think of this place? Beautiful. Yeah? Really lovely. All the colors, yeah. green, brown, and... Would you like to... Would you... shaped lake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> would you like to walk there? Do you think? Ah, there? Yeah. Not today. Not today. <laughs> Next time. Ha, 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 ha.